Let's go over how to find the inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix. We'll look at the formula, verify the formula, and then do a couple of examples. I'll leave a link in the description to a lesson where we prove this formula for the inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix if you're interested in that. Here is the statement of the process. If this is our 2x2 two two matrix A, it's going to be invertible if and only if AD minus BC is not equal to zero, so that's the difference of the diagonals, AD minus BC. In which case, if this is not zero, the inverse is this, one over that difference, AD minus BC, multiplied by, you can think of this as just reflecting across that main diagonal, so AD becomes DA, and then just negate the off diagonal, negative B and negative C. It's worth mentioning that this difference we see that's important to finding the inverse AD minus BC is what we call the determinant of the 2x2 two two matrix. That's denoted like this, det A, or also like this, emphasizing the components of the matrix. Notice this notation is just like your matrix brackets, uh, but without those little tails. And this, again, is AD minus BC. This part that is critical to finding the inverse is the determinant of the 2x2 two two matrix. Later in the course, of course, we will see how to find the determinant of larger matrices. So that's what that is. That is the determinant of the matrix. Let's go ahead now and verify that this is indeed a correct formula for the inverse of an invertible 2x2 two two matrix. To do that, we'll just have to take this and multiply it by A on the left, and we should get the identity matrix, and then we'll also have to multiply it on the right. Here is the verification of both products, multiplying the inverse on the left and multiplying the inverse on the right. In each case, notice that the scalar, 1 over AD minus BC, I save for the last step of the computation. It is just a scalar, so we can multiply it at whatever point we like, and it's most convenient to save it for the last step. Also notice, when you go through this multiplication, for example, you would begin with D and negative B being multiplied by A and C, and then adding them together. So you would have DA plus negative BC. But in each instance, I've chosen to write products in alphabetical order. So DA is the same as AD, which is why over here, you see that first component written as AD minus BC. In all cases, I've written the products in alphabetical order. Of course, we can do that because multiplication of real numbers is commutative. Just like in this entry down here, this comes from negative C times A plus A times C, which I've written as negative AC plus AC, writing each product in alphabetical order. And this helps us to see how that obviously cancels out to zero, just like this entry here will cancel out to zero. Meanwhile, AD minus BC multiplied by this scalar cancels out to 1, and negative BC plus AD multiplied by this scalar also cancels out to 1. And so you can see that multiplying what we think should be the inverse on the left does indeed invert the matrix and leave the identity matrix behind. A very similar computation shows that multiplying the inverse matrix on the right also produces the identity, thus verifying that yes, this is the correct formula for the inverse of an invertible 2x2 two two matrix. Let's go ahead and try it with a couple of examples. Here are two problems from Howard Anton's Elementary Linear Algebra textbook. We are going to find the inverse of each matrix if it exists. Let's begin with problem A here. We want to begin by finding the determinant, because if the determinant is zero, then we can't take an inverse. If the determinant isn't zero, then we'll need it to compute the inverse. So we'll start by finding that determinant. And again, remember, that's just the difference of the products of the diagonals. So 6 multiplied by 2 minus 1 multiplied by 5. This is going to be 12 minus 5, which is 7. Since this isn't equal to 0, A inverse does exist. How do we find it? Well, we need a scalar of 1 over the determinant. We just found the determinant is 7, so 1 over 7. 
And then we have to multiply this by, we take matrix A and then just flip the diagonal so it becomes two and six, and then negate along that counter diagonal, so negative one and negative five. This is A inverse. We can go ahead and multiply the scalar through the matrix just to get our nice final answer. So there is our final answer. You could go ahead and multiply this A inverse by A to verify you get the identity, and then do it in the other order as well. I'll leave that to you if you want to try. Let's move on then to problem B. Here is our matrix. Let's begin by finding the determinant to see if we can even calculate an inverse of this matrix. The determinant, again, is going to be the difference of the products of the diagonals. So negative 1 times negative 6. And then we have to subtract 2 times 3. Subtract 2 times 3. This is going to be positive 6 minus 6, which is 0. As you can see, when we construct the inverse, we have to divide by the determinant. So certainly if the determinant is 0, A inverse cannot possibly exist. This matrix is non-invertible. So this first matrix that we worked with was invertible. We would also call this non-singular. Whereas this matrix is non-invertible. We would also call it singular. There are your vocab terms. Invertible and non-singular both mean that a matrix has an inverse. Whereas non-invertible or singular mean that the matrix does not have an inverse. In this case, we know that that's true about this matrix because its determinant is zero. So no inverse. And that's how to find the inverse of a two by two matrix. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Oh. Uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind Two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus Finger count with calculus, I'm the V to the T, my parameter the rapidest Happens like this, my lectures the most prominent, dominant Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments, the union in together Like any time that we intersect, cause my opponent